Hello everyone, in this video we will go over how to save the print head of your Prestige A3 Plus printer. If you're experiencing smearing or having head strike issues, then that means you are having problems with your print head. So you will need to perform this procedure to try and save your print head. The items necessary to perform the cleaning are cleaning solution, cleaning swabs, flathead screwdriver, a syringe, nozzle check film, gloves, long term storage cartridges, some paper towels, and a microwave to warm up your cleaning solution. To begin, we will start at the back of your printer. Make sure the back power button is off, then pull the power cable from its connection. Remove the tube from the waste ink container and make sure to place paper towels to catch the ink dripping from the tube, then empty the waste ink container. Now make your way to the front of your printer and remove the dampers from the print head. and grab a plastic bag, or in this case, we are using a plastic glove to cover the dampers. This is to prevent any ink from spilling in or around your printer. Now grab the long store bracket. Take note of how it has two clips, one on each side. Slide in the bracket right here. After it clicks in, you will grab the long-term storage cartridges. Before placing them in, you will need to grab your cleaning solution and syringe. Fill each cartridge with cleaning solution. You would do this by pulling the plastic stopper and using your syringe, fill in the cartridge with cleaning solution. Once filled, plug in the plastic stopper back and repeat until you have all the cartridges filled with cleaning solution. After you have the long-term store cartridges filled with cleaning solution, you will place them in the spot where the dampers go. First, we simply align them in position. After they are all in position, you can push down on the cartridge until you hear a click. The click will signify that they are properly installed. Now return to the back of your printer with your syringe. Insert the syringe in the waste tube and pull the syringe so that it fills up with cleaning solution. Take note that there is still ink that comes out as well. Empty the syringe once you have pulled it all the way. Continue pulling the cleaning solution from the cartridges. It should be a total of two times or about 40 milliliters of cleaning solution. Make sure to attach the ink waste tube back on the container before proceeding to the next step. Now that the long-term cartridges are empty, you can remove them in order to place the dampers back in your spot. Now that the dampers are back in their spots, grab the screwdriver to remove the bracket we placed in earlier. Now that the dampers are correctly placed, we will head to the back of your printer again. Grab your syringe and insert it in the ink waste tube. Make sure to open the waste container, then pull your syringe to make sure that all the cleaning solution is out and that the ink is properly flowing.
Once that is completed, close the ink waste container and add the ink waste tube back in the container. Remaining in the back of your printer, you may now plug in the printer and press the red power button to turn the printer back on. You will hear a beep and you will also hear that the white ink will start to circulate. Now go to the front of your printer and press the power button on. Now at this moment, pour your cleaning solution into a small plastic cup. You will need about five milliliters of cleaning solution. You will need to slightly warm up the solution. You would do this by placing it in the microwave for five seconds. You do not want it too hot, just warmer than room temperature. Now that you have your warm cleaning solution, you will want to take note of your printer's power button. The button will be blinking green. You will wait until the light becomes solid and stops blinking. Then you will press the ink drop button. Your carriage should now be disengaged. While your carriage is disengaged, you will slide it to the left. There will be a bit of pressure when moving the carriage. Moving it to the left will reveal a capping station. This is where you will want to pour the cleaning solution. The cleaning solution should form a dome shape on the capping station. It is okay to overflow slightly. Now that you have poured the cleaning solution, you can now move the carriage back over the capping station. Once in, press the ink drop button again. The print head will slide back into place. The warm cleaning solution will break up residue that is causing head strike issues. It also helps the print head break up residue that will unclog the dried up ink. You will let your printer sit in place for 10 minutes. Once you have waited 10 minutes, perform a head cleaning on your printer. After the head cleaning is over, you will need to perform a nozzle check. So now you will need to load the nozzle check film. Make sure to pull the printer guides close on the film so that the film sits in place and does not shift. After the head cleaning is done and the film is in place, go ahead and perform the nozzle check. Review the film to see if you have any breakages in the lines. You will check the film twice. Once using a white background, like a sheet of paper, and second using a dark surface, like a black t-shirt. This procedure should save your print head from head strike issues. This procedure will not be successful in every situation. If you continue to have issues, you may have a larger problem with your print head and may need to reach out to us for further assistance. We hope that this video helped save your print head and help solve the head strike issues. Thank you for watching.